The voice of Jade Caprice representing for One Link TV Vlogs. Hear me, I say, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, say, never stop like, comment, and share. You hear that? Well, go on, the peeps. One Link TV Vlogs back with another topic. So, you know, me have to take special time out to big up all my loyal viewers and all my loyal subscribers. Road to a thousand K. Thanks for your chatty journey with me. And, people, don't forget now. While you are watching the video, just keep the like button active. And all who don't subscribe as yet, it now take you guys a dollar or a cent to do so. So just subscribe to the movements that it can grow with you guys. See, you know, this man may have a few topics I really want to discuss with you guys. See, you know, I'm not afraid to give you guys the news, the reviews, and the updates, and what going on in the country and about. So make we jump in the topic right away. A young American fugitive who is wanted in the United States of America was arrested during a pre dawn operation by the members of the fugitive operative team and the SeaTag operation in the Greenville community of Manchester on Wednesday, November 23. He is Matthew Pinnock, 18, who is wanted. And a provisional warrant of arrest under the Extradition Act for previous offence including attempt to murder, conspiracy to murder, robbery assault, criminal possession of a weapon, reckless engagement among other charges. Reports are that the police team went to the premises in Greenvale where a house was searched and Pinnock was found hiding underneath a bed. He was subsequently transferred to the Kingston where he remained in custody. He is set to appear in the Kingston Parish Court on Friday, November 25th. See, so I try to tell now people all different manner of evil come to Jamaica, come and hide out when they commit their wrongs in a country, right? So I said, I try to show you how slack Jamaica is because we could not travel by plane, go to no other country, and we commit so much acts of atrocity in Jamaica and we left Jamaica because, number one, the first thing we have is our criminal record. You understand? Because when we go to BAM, so we are going to do um, a visa, everything we will do in the country, right? And once it's labeled, it all come up in the system. So I try to show the people say yo, Jamaica is not a nice place when you come on to crime and violence. So moving right along my people. I see where them decide to release the pretty currency them on December the 5th. So my people I want to give me an honest opinion down in the comment section. What you guys think about these pretty currency that the government decide to carry in the country change out all of the old currency them from the smallest paper from 50 straight up to a 5000 note and him also bringing 2000 note in the country when you see that people the country are devalue day by day because when enough people not understand enough the bigger the currency be, as a devalue, the country a devalue. Look for enough other country. Look for Naira. You saw Naira money big and it don't have no value. They have up to even 10,000 a note. Right? Look for China. Look for them currency. A be a big note they have enough. Because even some places, they them sell all the bread for $10,000. Right? I mean, you look for that. The currency don't value anything, people. So I believe in a two thousand note, five thousand note, the highest note we should have in the country right now, as we speak, is a five hundred note. We shouldn't have a bigger note than that, right? Although you know, say it, it convenient certain way, but most people don't like a five thousand note. 
right? Because even if you are traveling in a public transportation, you can't bring a 5,000 and what and give the driver, you know. Because if they give the driver a 5,000 and what, you and the driver go in an argument. Because my customer say, you know, should I look chain before you come in at the vehicle? Eh? You get the rest of my people? So when you check it out, the biggest currency in a Jamaica should be a 500 and what. And the government has spent up this bag of billions to change um, currency in the country. And that now relevant right now as we speak you understand so many things in the country were relevant where him need to take care and him not pay attention to them there because look upon jamaica now jamaica is a small that on the country and every mickle and every muckle every third and third in a jamaica there is bad road and the government not pay attention to them thing there might pay attention to pretty currency i come in the country if you ever notice Look for all of the big state them. They not change for them money now. They not change for them money. The only change them make I like then change all the older one them and um, bring in some newer type. You understand? But they not change like two thousand and what and them shit. They them they not have them they sitting there enough for them country. Look for the US. Look for England. Look for all of the big state American think of. Look for Cayman. I be a small currency they have enough for them country, the biggest currency they have a hundred dollar note. You understand me as my people? So moving right along, along my people, I see where the government, I say, the legislation coming to provide stiffer penalty for murderers. The government is moving to prepare the legislation that will provide stiffer penalty for murderers, say the Prime Minister, the most Honorable Andrew Oldness may thought on the matter to finalize is that we should give 30 years a minimum for murders. The Minister of Justice has been declared to bring forward these changes immediately. He said he may not be able to catch this year, but early next year we will be coming to the house with amendment to the penalty for murderers. He added, Mr. Holness was open the debate on resolution to extend the state of public emergency SOE that were recently declared in several parish and police division island wide during the sitting of the House of Representatives on Tuesday, November 22. Some people make we have a little small reasoning. So you guys feel like giving a man 30 years, although that's the minimum, he can get more, he can get up to 50, he can, can get up to 100, according to what they must say. So you guys feel like that gonna curve crime in Jamaica? I want to know. So you guys can leave your honest opinion down in the comment section. So I can hear what you guys have in mind. But these are my two cents based off and everything when me are listen and me are look into. That narrow curve crime in a Jamaica, my people. Because the biggest set of crime influence of them in a Jamaica are the politicians. Them. You understand? So that narrow make crime better a bit. That are just my two cents for everything. Because I look on people, the most Illegal weapon they come in the country. Or oh, you think they come in the country now? Huh? Through most of the shipping that them, through most of the shipping company them. And who you think bring them in? Eh? Who you think have all of the, the links them down a wharf? How you think bring them in? The politician them. So the end of the day when I say people, giving a, a man 30 here, that now go stop him from, from commit a murder. You understand me say my people? But at them I do them thing now, so we all have to just watch and see because the end of the day when them set a rule, you know, I just few people go by the rule where them set in, you understand? As can to where Mr. Montecue did I say early and shortly here about the whole um hanging situation. He must say the man them are cherry pick the law them, you understand? So them choose which law to obey by. You understand? So me see where them are say them are 
extend the state of emergency. That still naga curve crime and violence in a Jamaica. That naga make it better. When you know what these people are from the man then come out and block the road you know. I find this so Mr. Oldness decides say yeah, he may go drop a public state of emergency, you know. I wonder if you know a follow up what really are going in the country. Hmm? I from this so him decides say yeah, he may go drop a public state of emergency. Look over there in now the other day. State of emergency was there the other day, down there in a now with St. James. It might not be exactly in a now, yes. But the same place in a St. James, the state of emergency did there. And me know I know just one barricade them have down there. While the state of emergency are gone. They have several different barricades in a St. James, right? And several different checkpoints. So you know, so you have a different, different set of soldiers where you normally have to go through in a different, different community and so forth right and look how much people pick up corn down there eh? included a little suckling from breast pick up corn in a day the shooting we go on down there in a now St. Jim so when I say people this whole state of emergency thing not going anywhere and in a curve crime and in a make it be better in a Jamaica Right now we are coming to Enna here, right? And you know say a whole heap of people keep session, keep party, round robin, bingo party, you name it, right? Look at St. Catherine. St. Catherine is a big parish and you have so many sessions keep in a St. Catherine. You know people keep their ear to ear thing, right? Because you know say a lot of people who live in a Jamaica here yeah, depend upon keeping a session throughout the year because you throw around a bit now right you all look out for the turn up you know you all look out for the people them turn up and support your thing you know because you go sub and support people thing sometime three times for the week you go and around robin sometime four times for the week you go and around robin and you keep your thing now and I look out for the support and mr whole neck was a bomb now and drop a state of public emergency you can't keep nothing because if you even decide to keep something you have to lock it off at a certain time because if you not do so soldier or police are come invade your thing and when them come them not come normally enough because what them are going to say you know follow the, the rules of the country and you see when them come then come and them mash up all the liquor them and create a bag of excitement and sometimes you take the liquor them from consignment you see it the hen of the day still have to go pay for them to lick at them people. Although the lick at them not sell them, still have to go pay for them. So what I say, the whole state of emergency not going anywhere. So remember now people, I want you guys to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. So when you know I drop a video people, you guys first get notified. One link TV vlogs, check it out. Catch up with you guys in the next vlogs. Peace out.